This is an example for a head grouping project for one larger patch and one smaller patch. Each one of the patches will have individual names. We will distribute the larger patches by groups of two on each of the eight heads and the smaller patches in groups, groups of uh, six on three of the embroidery heads. We will start by launching the head group, head grouping project. We choose the machine available, in this case at TMARKC, choose the number of heads, which will be eight, the frame drive S, and we would like to, uh, to control the individual heads. The size of the area is 330 times 450. We will start by loading a new file, in this case the larger patch. Once we chose it, it's being launched and uh, we edit it in the, in the head group one tab, as you can see here. We'll drag a guideline to see the top limit of the frame then I will select all of the segments of large patch and move the position towards the top right side of the embroidery area. I will also use a guideline and select all again and duplicate the larger patch and move a copy a duplicate on the left side of it. So I have two patches aligned properly there. Next thing I'll do is I will select the text segments, which are going to be the individual names, and I will control X. I will cut them out, keep them in the clipboard. And let's also remove the unused threads. Once this is done, I control S, I save it and close the tab. We see when I click on each one of the heads, the eight heads, we will have these two large emblems aligned on the top of the frame. We will start a new cycle. This will create a new cycle, cycle number two. We will now switch on head number one activated and edit head number one and this will launch a new tab with control v we paste the uh, two text segments that we had cut before and they should be exact in the exact position so this will allow me now to select the first one this is a name that uh, will stay the second text segment, I will change the name to the respective intended name. In this case, MacGregor. Press enter and we'll see it made a change. With control S, we save and we can close the tab. This will refresh the uh, head grouping projects uh, page. You see, once it re it's refreshed, we have the two names for the first head embroidered within the patches. We'll start a new cycle. So this will be cycle number three. We will activate embroidery head area number two and we will edit that. This launches a new tab. With control V, we paste the two text segments again. And the whole purpose of this is they are in the exact position within the, the patch. 
So we will select first text segment and change the name to the intended name. We press enter and the change is done. And then we go ahead with the second text segment, changing the name there as well. And we control S, we can save our changes and close the tab. This will refresh the head grouping view and we can see it's say it's uh, refreshed there so it's a good idea to save our project regularly we'll save it and there was a file there already so we'll replace that one the new one you can see now we have two of the embroidery heads already with the text in the patches we create a new cycle Cycle number four, with control V, we paste the two text segments again, and we do the whole process again. So we will do this process, process with all other heads. So I fast forward, hit, come to the last, Head number eight, we change the first text segment, the name for it, and the second one, control S to save it, and we are done with the large patches. Now we will add the second patch, which, which is, the, these are the smaller patches. So we'll create uh, no, we'll, we'll not create. We, what we need to do here is we need to know where to position, where to position them. That's why I'm going to take cycle number one, edit that, because this is the location of the two larger patches. Now, what we want to do is we want to maybe add a guideline below the limit. Then we select both of these two large patches and with control copy, we copy both of them into the clipboard. Once that is done, we can close that cycle, a tab. So now we will scroll down, all the way down And we proceed with adding a new cycle. We're now going to create the smaller patches. We will do the first group on head number one. We edit, hit the edit button. We have a new tab there and with control V, we will insert the, the two large patches can see them on the screen, that's the position. The purpose for this is I want to know where, where to position the smaller ones. So I drag the guideline down there. Once that is done, I can get rid of the two large patches. I delete them. So now we will use a function in menu file called merge. And with merge, we are going to Go and look for the uh, smaller patch. There it is. So when we use merge, we can see a preview of the transformation box. And now I can very nicely position the patch on the available area. And I select that patch and I will make a duplicate or duplicates with control D so we position two more on the left side of the one that we copied. So we have a nice distribution there. 
next thing we'll do, we'll make a group of six patches. So I will select uh, those three patches and again with Control D, we'll make a duplicate and place three additional patches below. Now, the patches, they have variable names, or text segments within the patches. We need to keep them empty. That's why I'm going to select from all the patches the text segments. Select the first one. They are all in the pink color area. Then with control and click, I'm selecting all of the text segments from all six patches. All right, there we are. Once this is done with Control X, I'm going to cut all of them out of the emblems. They're in the clipboard now. And with Control S, we save the patches. So you see the patches will be embroidered, the six patches will be embroidered on head number one and they are empty. Now I switch on head number two and three as well. Now we have a total of 18 empty patches on those three heads. I will add now a cycle because we need now to add individual names to the patches. And we'll do the first head number one. We have a new tab with Control V. We paste all of the six text segments into my empty uh, page. So now we go ahead and change the names of each one of the text segments. And mind you, the position of the text segments will be precisely in the uh, foreseen area for that patch. That's why I cut them out from the patches, as you have seen earlier. Now we go ahead, changing all the names. In the last one, we have all six now intended names with Control S. We save it and we can close the tab. And as you can see, the view is going to be refreshed. We have now on head number one, all six names embroidered, stitched into the six patches. Now we will add a new cycle. We will switch on head number two, and we will work on the next group of six patches. And the page opens up, we can press Control V to paste the text segments, six text segments again into my page. And we will proceed with changing each one of the names as we have done before. That's the third one. All right, so we're coming to the sixth one change that name as well. And with Control S, once we're done, we save it and we can close the tab. This should refresh my view. And as you can see, head number two is embroidering six names into the patches as well. Now we go and make the last one. We add a new cycle. We will activate head number three. And we will proceed with Control V, we paste the six names again, 
and we proceed with changing those names as well. Third or fourth one, fourth name. The names will be fitting exactly into the into the space because I used uh, when I created the template, I used the text segment to fit into a box and to center it. So it will also, if a name is large, it will it will compress it. You can see once this is done, we have head number three embroidering the six patches into six names into the six patches. This has been a good example working with the head grouping option on a project with different patches with variable names. <laughs>